why is it hurting my eyes? I see the balls. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Free Thought Fridays! Ooh. This week, I have my little sister Anna with me, and Hello. my best friend Jen. You guys remember her from the last episode on Mailbox Monday? We are going to be talking about people putting their business on the internet, and Throwing. why shouldn't it happen. just shouldn't happen, and why do you do this? It makes you look trashy. It makes us not care. It makes us not want to be your friend anymore. Mm-hmm. But it does serve as entertainment. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> and it's a soap opera. You know, after a few episodes of a soap opera, the bad acting gets to you and you don't watch anymore. Exactly. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. And everybody hates you. <laughs> Just shouldn't be there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's fun to watch, but you kind of look stupid in the end. Honestly, because girls... Let, let, me just, let me just say something to you girls. Putting your business out there just makes you look bad. Exactly. It really, it doesn't make us sympathize with you. It doesn't make us question his motives. It really makes us think, why are you talking about it to everybody and their mother? Mm-hmm. Whatever happens between you should stay between you. And I think that's with everything. It doesn't have to be with relationships like boyfriend-girlfriend. It's just, you know, parental relationships, anything, you know? You should just keep... Your friendships. business. Friendships. Like, if exactly. me and Jen were to get in a fight, we're not going to post on Facebook. No. Because that's on there forever. Exactly. Like, Another thing is, if you are in a relationship with somebody, or if it's a friendship, or if it's any kind of relationship at all, family relationship, boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, if you put your business out there, any chance that that relationship had of reconciling, and any chance you guys had of making up, and, you know, is, like, down. It's, it's true. Just, shot because what happens is you get mad and you post it on the internet and you moan and groan to everybody out there somebody is going to be like really oh my god let me ant antagonize let me instigate exactly and what they're going to do is they're going to try to make a bad situation worse and add fuel to the fire and also if you have you know if you're in a relationship and you get into a fight one day and you decide oh i'm just gonna write a nasty status and Kind of subtweet. You know, you know who you're talking about. You know, everybody knows that you're talking about your boyfriend. But at the end of the day, anybody who sees that is just gonna think the worst of your relationship. Exactly. And your relationship could be like Not one of that the bad. yeah, it could be really great. Maybe you just had a crappy day. And exactly. You decided to post about it, and now everybody thinks that your boyfriend or girlfriend is like the devil. Exactly. And you don't want that, you know, because at the end of the day. When you make up, you're like, oh, crap, now half the world thinks my boyfriend's a D-bag, and... Exactly. It was and a misunderstanding. Thing is, like, with um, the internet mm. and stuff, what you put on the internet is there forever. Exactly. Like, even if you delete it, it like, it's accessible to anyone who cares yep. enough to go after it and try to access it. Yeah, it's accessible. And once, like, whoever you're talking about reads it, no matter how many times you apologize or anything, it's always going to be in the back of their minds that you thought that at some point. So then they're going to feel like, oh, you've always thought that about them. Mm -hmm. And it's always going to be there. Like, what you, like, even texting somebody something, that's like the person has written proof of what you said. It's like yep. permanent. It's the same thing as you going on top of the Empire State Building, getting a megaphone, and just telling everybody your business. Like, there's no need for it. Like, it's called, like, World Wide Web. Everyone mm -hmm. can see it at all times. Accessible to everybody. So, honestly, girls, just do yourself a favor. Be classy. Be ladylike. Don't put your business out there. Don't tell everybody and, and their mother what is going on in your life. Because, frankly, it's none of our business. Exactly. And guys do it, too. Guys they do. do it a lot. Guys. But they don't get as much flack. Guys, why are you the biggest drama queens ever? Honestly. That's true. They just they uh, like, I know, no, a lot girls more dramatic are bad guys. <laughs> girls are dramatic. Girls. I, I will I will give you that. We are very dramatic, especially me. I know I am. <laughs> yeah. I know I am. Robert when I true. find a guy who's more dramatic than me, I'm concerned. <laughs> I can be too. Because, like, <laughs> and I've met a few. I can name a few. I, it's so true. And it's just, it's wrong, you know? Because 
Sometimes at the moment you don't mean it, so... And honestly, how many situations have we had where it's like, you read something about so-and-so online, and then you meet the person, you already have preconceived notions of them. That's true, too. Like, I don't want to talk to this crazy person, I don't want to talk to this crazy person, and then you find a third nice person! Yeah. You find out that it was just a bad day that somebody had! Like... Exactly. And honestly, with today, like, technology these days, just don't mess around with that stuff. So, mm-hmm. like, what my, what, the reason why I really wanted to talk about this is because, like, you know, as I grow up, we've, like, just seen, because we kind of grew up with the whole technological boom with, uh, MySpace and then Facebook and all these things where, like, we just literally went from having to memorize phone numbers and putting them into our, like, corded phones <laughs> to just having everything on one little device. And it's insane how quickly it happened. So, it went from, like, all of us just, you know, like, hearing a rumor or gossip or whatever, and then actually seeing, like, an argument between person A and person B going on, mm-hmm. and you're just like, oh my god, you know, like, he cheated on her? He had right. somebody else's, like, she had somebody else's baby? Like, that's nobody's why business. Why do I want to know about, why do I need to know about that? <laughs> and it also just ultimately ruins relationships, you know? You can have... no chance of survival. Yeah, you can have um, a decent relationship with somebody, be very compatible, but if you're constantly putting your business out there and you think, oh, I'm I'm just going to block them from seeing this, I just need a vent, somebody's going to tell them, and that's just going to cause more issues on top of whatever issue you already have with them. So why put yourself in that position to just get into a bigger fight? It's so just trashy. Like, you're not really on to MTV. And Nobody so, therefore, cares. you're not getting paid to look stupid. So, therefore, there's no excuse for it. So Stop. Stop. Mm. Girls. Ratchet. One of my future videos is going to be how to be a classy lady. Ooh. How to be a woman. Because... Y'all need some help. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Yeah. She's Girl, the youngest. No. Seriously. And she knows. Girls these days... Mm. Not cute. Not cute <laughs> at all. And why y'all ratchet? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way we can put it. Why you ratchet? ratchet as hell? The bottom line to this video is putting your business out on the internet or wherever for the world to see is just going to cause more problems for yourself. Permanent problems. Permanent problems for yourself. And on top of that, you just don't look good to the you're general no, you're public. No, you're no longer credible. Mm-mm. You're no longer faithful. You're nope. no longer loyal. People don't trust you anymore. And you just look dirty. You look dirty. And, and stupid. And stupid. Just like that animal. <laughs> Thank you for your two cents, Anna. <laughs> Thank you for your no problem. <laughs> so, stop being ratchet, y'all. We love you. And, mwah! Beijos. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I'm seeing like lines everywhere and balls. <laughs> I'm seeing balls, guys. Airplane mode on.